Hello, welcome to Local Edition. I'm Leslie Layton. It's getting easier to stay up to date with what's happening in Fountain Valley. One way is to go online and uh, log in and see. The other way is to listen for a few more minutes because the mayor is here now, Steve Nagel, to uh, tell us what's going on in the city of Fountain Valley. Welcome. Yes, uh, well, we're uh, happy to announce that uh, our uh, community dashboard has been opened up uh, with our police department. They can track incidents uh, in the city uh, almost as it happens. And so it's a a running of uh, activity in the city. Uh, we have uh, people able to log on and uh, enter their information so we can contact them. Say if there's a street closure, they can do that at uh, www.fountainvalley.org. And so it's a, it's a way for us to contact them in case of emergency or, or so a way to instantly communicate right. um, instead of uh, when you see police activity sometimes mm -hmm. you wonder what's going on there you don't have to slow down and wonder you right. can get an email alert about what's going on there mm -hmm. street closures yes. pretty handy stuff and we also uh, have uh, uh, things on our website that people can and businesses can access uh, for information about the city and uh, and also look at uh, our codes and ordinances. So it, it is something that's uh, more interactive than it ever used to be. Yeah, save you a trip downtown or a, yes. a phone call through all of the, uh, tr trying to navigate through the right. voicemail kind of thing. Uh, one of the things that you can also do uh, is, is a little interesting. You can monitor our water usage. Yes. Explain how this is going. Well, on. it's uh, we have new uh, smart meters and uh, we just installed them into approximately 18,000 uh, of our residences and businesses in, in town. And it actually uh, sends information uh, by GPS and uh, we don't have to send out meter readers anymore. It, can, it automatically is uh, taken in by uh, the monitoring system. But uh, it shows uh, consumption and, uh, and patterns of usage. So in the drought conditions that we have, we feel it's important, but also really uh, helpful to the homeowner in, uh, in our businesses and, and their use. Awareness can help, but are you finding people at this point if you find out that they're watering on the wrong days? No, we, we usually, if there's uh, something that shows up as an abnormality, then we can go out and investigate, see whether there's a water leak or not. That's one of the things we've found is that this is really showing uh, uh, usage that may be unknown to the, the resident. And water leaks can be really, really dangerous. Right. Uh, a lot of development, uh, a lot happening in the city, and you're trying to keep things up to date as far as the shopping centers. You'd mm -hmm. like to uh, get the landlords to spiffy the place up a bit. Right, and we've had uh, two of our centers at uh, Magnolia and Warner in Fountain Valley uh, on the east side and also the west side of the streets. Uh, they've done a facelift on both uh, uh, centers and it looks much more attractive and more inviting to uh, the customers and we also have an Aldi store that's going to open soon uh, on the east side at uh, Slater, excuse me, uh, Warner and uh, Magnolia. So it's it's really uh, in exciting to see these things happen and, uh, and improve uh, shopping conditions. Mm -hmm. We also uh, hosted uh, the Special Olympic uh, World Game uh, Netherland team in our city this year. We had over 100 athletes and coaches that came for three days to Fountain Valley and uh, we welcomed them with open arms and uh, really had a great uh, community outpouring to help and we raised over, uh, I think it was $140,000 to support uh, our athletes in, uh, in both Huntington Beach and Fountain Valley. So, Well, thank you so much yeah. for bringing us up to date about what's happening in Fountain Valley. Yes. Appreciate you being here and glad you could join us too. All right, well, I'm thank Leslie you. Layton.